Because my grandma said David had a neck. He could have said, oh my goodness, there's a naked woman over there. But he didn't do that. He said, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's a naked woman over there. And because he was king, he said, bring her to me. And because he was king, he could take advantage of her. And he did. And because he was king, he could throw her out of his bedroom when he was done with her. And he did. Oh, listen, David knows what it feels like to fall face down into sin on purpose. What do you do then? Trust in the Lord and do what's right. Come to the table of mercy. Check out the new series on praiseandharmony.tv called Come to the Table by Dr. John Mark Hicks. The gospel invites all to the table. The gospel doesn't make a division between rich and poor, slave and free, male and female, black and white, Jew and Gentile. The gospel doesn't make those kind of divisions. The gospel unites at the table, and the table is the experience of communion between the rich and the poor, and between the Jew and the Gentile, between the male and the female. In this eight-part study, you'll grow from in-depth lessons about communion. This series comes with PDF study guides and materials for small group leaders or families to use to help facilitate a more meaningful time of learning. I like the way Luther put it. When I am afflicted and a Satan is assaulting me, I don't run away from the table. I run to the table. Because this is a table of mercy. See, God is doing something at this table. I know we don't typically think about it that way. We tend to think about, what am I doing? I'm remembering, I'm proclaiming, I'm eating. But we need to think about what God is doing at this table. Come to the table. Available now at praiseandharmony.tv.